Hello babes, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and today is another reading. I was told to read on Isabella Nardoni, which is the case of that unfortunate event of that little girl. So we're going to see what happened. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Remember that every reading on celebrities, influencers, or certain cases like this are only for your entertainment purposes only and everything said I mentioned is allegedly. We always offer you guys the legal disclaimer at the beginning of every video in English and Spanish for anybody who's interested in reading it. So with this said, let's move forward. So let's take a look. We got the nine of coins in the reverse. The what is this? The universe in the reverse. The queen of coins, page of swords, the traveler, nine of cups in the reverse. Three of Wands in the reverse. Four of Cups in the reverse and overall energy. Oh my goodness, overall energy. The Five of Swords in the reverse and the Devil Capricorn energy. Um, we got here Taurus, Rico Capricorn again, Page of Swords. This is like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got Aries energy. We got Pisces and Cancer. Listen, I do see a uh, female with black hair or dark hair who was uh responsible for this she was full of negative energies and jealousy so allegedly i could see this being a stepmom or uh the girlfriend of the father because i do feel like this is somebody who had a relationship with a female who had a relationship with the birth parent of this little girl so i'm guessing it could be a girlfriend uh keep in mind that i don't know much about the case because I was just told and I just do my request like this but I do see somebody who is allegedly like a girlfriend or something but I do see this like a con as either or a sexual relationship with her and the father or this could have been a romantic relationship you know at one two I do see that this lady was the one who caused the harm to this little girl she allegedly was jealous she was upset she it, this is the kind of girl this is this is why so guys if you're a single parent please be careful who the heck you start a new relationship with because some people are crazy this lady allegedly i don't know if she i think she pushed her out and and like harmed this little girl because she was jealous allegedly of this little girl and you know how crazy it is that somebody is jealous of your kid Allegedly here, this, this lady used to be abusive towards this girl when she used to stay with the parent or the dad or so. She used to allegedly hit her and stuff. But this lady caused the harm upon this girl. I don't know if she pushed her out of a window, for example, or she hurt her so bad that she caused this girl to pass away. But allegedly, this lady allegedly was the one who caused this harm. Like I said before, allegedly, she felt jealous of this little girl. She felt jealous of the attention. She felt jealous of the opportunities. I do not understand this because, honestly, I cannot understand it. But what it's telling me here, that the cause, that this lady is the cause of this. But allegedly, somebody's covering for her. Allegedly, somebody's covering for her. I don't know if they still do. But I do see here that was somebody that the girl know allegedly they're costing or they're saying oh somebody else did it that person did it something no why would a random person do this and allegedly somebody's covering for her and i feel is the dad allegedly he's covering for her why is he covering for her it doesn't make any sense but this lady was the one who caused the harm this lady caused the harm upon this little girl and it was so sad because this girl was sweet she was very very educated she was not even a difficult kid 
this lady just freaking trunch like i don't know why i'm so angry right now because i'm a mother and this pisses me off so much that's why i'm so careful who i have my kids my kid with you know what i'm saying like when i was not dating when i was dating i was like talking to people and i would you i would literally pay for a background check guys that's what you everybody should do if you're a single parent and um before even talking to people any farther so uh, that's why i'm so very i'm so protective over my son because you you never know who the heck people are i don't know this female was allegedly it's a it's a evil person why do i say allegedly it's for legal reasons my babes and allegedly he yeah allegedly he is covering for her they're making up they already they are making up lies they made up lies they're trying to cover everything allegedly here allegedly here something happened that day and the girl tried to stand up for herself because she was tired and of tired of being mistreated by this female allegedly and this person was full of rage and they just i do feel like they hit her and then i don't know did something they threw i do see her body tussed so hard allegedly this poor girl's body tussed so hard that she wasn't responsive and they had to make up a lie about it this lady is not apologetic she don't feel no pain she feels no no freaking remorse allegedly here and when the asa comes here she wants empathy she wants people to believe she wants people but this lady is allegedly a monster literally monster and when the the nightmare in the reverse the nine of coins in the reverse the eight of swords in the reverse right here i do see she's gonna be brought to justice she's not gonna be able to get away with this allegedly i do feel there's not a lot of freaking evidence on this for whatever reason but i do see that allegedly uh people almost know that allegedly this female is being uh is the one like the cost of it because allegedly they made an alibi that somebody else was in there but i do see allegedly here that they were able to find that and it's not real so i do see right here that again um she's not going to be able to get off the hook this little girl's uh energies is still like not resting in peace 100 percent because it hasn't been justice been served I do see this girl's representations of her presence is a lot of cats. I don't know why it's, it's connecting me, her with cats here. Allegedly, this female also had like issues like with herself. She wasn't like right in her head. Like she was, uh, I don't know, she had like very very dark thoughts and she allegedly was having a lot of issues like i don't know she has she was a very problematic person that she should have never been near kids because allegedly she had no patience she had a lot of anger issues a lot of jealousies a lot of insecurities and now this is not like everybody has some of those feelings no but this lady took it to an extent when it's sickening and to where allegedly she wanted the father to choose in between her or the girl the little girl and allegedly he wasn't doing that or allegedly he wasn't doing that fast enough and allegedly he wasn't even good of a father either because he will allow a lot of this disrespect happened in his household whenever his girlfriend or this female was here with the girl so allegedly he's not not like innocent either allegedly this girl was full of joy this person this little girl was so so beautiful inside and out uh she was i do see allegedly here that even though that she's not like her spirit's not like really in heaven still she's like hoping for peace to be done because she is waiting for justice to be served okay so she's not in suffering allegedly she's not suffering where she's at she's in a way to perform you know in the spiritual realm um it's different but what i can con connect her feeling to is she's at peace 
you know she's at ease the very least but she is hoping for justice to be served because the truth hasn't come out the way it should so people know exactly why she had to pass away it was not a third party it was not a stranger it was not allegedly Ma, the, the, the dude, the father, and allegedly the partner or the female, allegedly he had in that household, that allegedly he knew, that allegedly she was there often here and there, and allegedly she was violent towards his daughter, allegedly kind of often. She was the one who caused this girl to pass away, allegedly, because she was abusive and she had issues with anger, and she just, I'm so freaking mad at this point. And this little girl deserves justice, and I do feel like, in a way she performed she is going to but jeez what the hell is wrong with this female and what the father why allegedly is he lying i do feel allegedly he's lying about some things because he's faithful to this female he's like i don't know i do not know he betrayed his own daughter allegedly in what sense not being truthful in what really happened allegedly all i can tell you guys is that even though that you know i know i understand that i do understand that people uh believe in heaven and hell and that's fine if you want to i do see this girl in the spiritual realm she's still a little girl and she's with a little boy she's like sitting and they're like by flowers and by water so she's a content the very least but she's allegedly waiting for full justice to be served i do see that there is uh i don't know if there's a court or so still but there's something that needs to be done i do feel like there could be another court case or this could be allegedly opening the the situation again like the the case again allegedly finding more evidence to properly sentence these two individuals because allegedly them two are are a thousand percent allegedly guilty and you know so at this point the only reason she got this girl got hurt was because this female was crazy and allegedly she was jealous of her and this is nothing nor this is not a normal feeling to have obviously but unfortunately a lot of people that don't do the research on their new partners that's what happens or whoever you bring in your home allegedly here so when somebody is overly aggressive with your kids when they're not welcoming towards your kids when they treat your kids a certain way do not trust them if you're not around do not trust them if you're not around and another thing do not keep them around you know so this little angel is waiting for justice to be served she did not deserve to pass away she deserved to have a good long beautiful ass life she deserved to be with her mom and her grandma that she they loved her and she loved them a lot and just a stupid ass female allegedly person that just cannot deal with their own issues took it against this beautiful beautiful angel cannot freaking believe this cannot as a mom this freaking makes me so mad oh my gosh let me finish up this reading cuz these are the readings that I, I wish I could have been there and, and, and saved that little girl. Like, You know how many people will love to have kids and sometimes they can't. And the people who can, that they can't have kids, treat them like this. They cannot understand that. <sighs> Some people. Of course, not everybody, but anyways, let's finalize here. We got the astrological dices. We got the planet, the zodiac sign, and the house. So the planet here is the representation of the situation of the reading, and we have Saturn. Saturn says, um, pertaining to restriction, what holds you back, 
going without following through on commitment, accountability, and responsibilities. Now we're going to go with the zodiac signs. The zodiac signs represent the emotional side of this reading today. We got cancer. We got emotional, troubling, interpersonal relationships, protective, suppressing emotions, maternal instincts. And finally, we have here um, the house, which is the area of life. And we got the 11th house. Represents protection in good moments, lucky gifts, connections with people, sharing bounty, prosperity. So this is the final part of this reading i hope has given you clarity and fulfilled the reading on that specific subscriber um don't forget to like and subscribe give it a thumbs up please comment down below uh please again follow me on my other platforms you can find me on tiktok instagram spotify i do weekly podcasts i am on facebook as well and i'm also open for personal readings too weekly so with this said thank you so much and have an amazing day